All right, so let's talk about The Mandalorian Season 2, Chapter 13, simply entitled The Jedi. A lot happens in this episode. They, they come out swinging this time. And we've got Ahsoka Tano in the opening sequence. We learn the identity of the kid. And we also find out a big bombshell at the end of this episode. So let's get started. So they don't waste any time with this episode. The opening shot shows Ahsoka Tano. They're not waiting to show her or anything. She comes out, lightsabers blazing, literally. And she you find out she's on this planet trying to take out a magistrate. Uh, this magistrate has enslaved the people. And this seemed kind of like a kind of like a poor man's Game of Thrones episode. Uh, you could tell that this is on a TV show budget but highly entertaining, and this, this show, actually, this episode makes history. This is the first time we've seen a Jedi outside the feature films, and they really did bring Ahsoka Tano to life in this episode, so that was fantastic. Now, Din shows up on the planet also looking for her and ends up speaking with the magistrate. The magistrate off offers him a staff, uh, well, it's more like a, a pole almost, uh, that is made of the same armor as his armor. And she says, if you kill the Jedi, because the Jedi and the Mandalorian have known to be, have been known to be enemies. She said, if you take out the Jedi, I will give you the, give you the staff. He does not, he never says anything. She thinks he's agreeing to go ahead and do it. So he goes out to find Ahsoka and finds her rather easily. They end up in a scuffle. And at the, be the beginning of that scuffle is the best part of the whole episode. Uh, she comes out trying to take him down, and, and he has to kind of calm everything down really quickly. Well, come to find out, uh, she makes a connection with the child, and we find out that the name of this little Yoda figure is actually Grogu. That's his name, Grogu. He wants Ahsoka to train him. She will not agree to do that because she said he's got some tendencies, some fear in him. And she's thinking about Darth Vader and what happened to Darth Vader. She said she's seen this in the past and she doesn't want to bring him down a path that could lead to, lead to you know, something crazy down the line like what happened with Vader. Din says, look, I'll help you take out the magistrate if you will agree to take the child and to train him. And a couple times she has to remind him that his name is Grogu. Find out that in the past, Grogu had been trained by the Jedi, you know, during the time of the Clone Wars. And when everything was kind of destroyed and taken down, he was put into hiding. So he's been around for many years uh, and he's been trained by the Jedi in the past. So he definitely does have some ability. And we see a little bit of that in this episode. And Ahsoka notices that the that Grogu has a very big, strong connection with Din. So they end up do taking the magistrate down, which is interesting. Uh, this became kind of like a an equalizer moment. Uh, if anybody's ever seen the movie The Equalizer, that's kind of what the end of this episode was. Both Ahsoka and Din taking out uh, the people who were part of the magistrate who were enslaving the people. So in the end. Ahsoka gets this magistrate. Uh, she ends up besting her. At that point, the bomb is dropped. Ahsoka asks, where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? And so this is the first time we've ever heard Thrawn's name outside of cartoons, uh, inside of an actual feature film. And then in the very end of the episode, Din is leaving, is expecting to leave Grogu with Ahsoka, but she says, I can't train him. What I do want you to do is go to this planet. I don't remember the name of the planet where the jet, there's a, an old temple there, set him at the top of this spire. And he's either going to have a good connection or a bad connection and may call a Jedi to come to him. Uh, she says that may or may not happen though. And that's where this leads you know, he leaves. She also gives him the staff, says he's earned it. He said, I didn't earn it because I didn't agree to do anything to get it in the first place. But she told him, you know, this kind of material belongs with the Mandalorian. So you need to take it. 
So the last shot is him leaving and her also walking back towards uh, where the people are. Now, what's crazy about this is this seems like a one-off episode with Ahsoka in The Mandalorian. Like, this probably be the only time we see her. But what they're doing is they're laying seeds for a spinoff. There's no question about that. Disney is not stupid when it comes to the marketing. And so what they're going to end up doing is doing a spinoff. And we're actually, I think we're going to end up seeing Grand Admiral Thrawn at some point. And maybe all these storylines will converge. I mean, obviously, if we have, you know, Grand Moff Gideon, uh, maybe he's... uh, Maybe he's tied in with Thrawn. Who knows? Maybe all of this stuff will be connected in the end. I don't think we'll see anything big in this season in regards to all of that. If they do, it's going to be in future seasons. But I believe they're laying the seeds for a spinoff in the future. And I'll tell you, Rosario Dawson, she did a fantastic job playing Ahsoka. Uh, It was really cool to see that character brought to life. What I want to know, though, is where was she during Return of the Jedi? Where was she during the whole thing with taking the emperor down was she just in hiding like what what's the whole deal with her disappearing and her showing up now and being focused on grand admiral thrawn alone uh it seems like she may be obsessed with this whole thing so there's got to be a reason for it i'm sure we'll find out in the future but i i'm betting they're going to do a grand admiral thrawn well not a grand admiral thrawn show but an ahsoka show uh with her going after the grand admiral and having a whole storyline there but who knows and hey you know, if we need a Grand Admiral Thrawn, uh, I don't know who I would choose. Maybe somebody like um, John Hamm might play a good Grand Admiral Thrawn. Who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll find out in the future, though, because I'm sure it's coming. They're not going to mention his name in this show and then not, not follow up with that at some point in the future. So they threw everything at us in this episode. It had action. Uh, it had Ahsoka. You know, the first time we, like I said, it's the first time we've seen a Jedi outside of Uh, the live action movies before. So this is groundbreaking in many ways. Uh, And it, yeah, it was really well done. I'm not going to lie. This was probably the best episode of the entire show. Uh, It's almost like they did too much in one episode. We're used to getting little nuggets here and there, but this one, they, they put it all, all out on the table. So there's my review for the Mandalorian chapter 13 entitled the Jedi. Uh, You know, there is a comment at the end also that Ahsoka makes that there are still some Jedi out there, but there aren't many. So this could be kind of a show where Din has to go meet several different Jedi, which would be cool because we we've never seen Jedi in a TV show before uh, live action. So this should be interesting. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing these reviews week to week as this show continues. And if they ever do any more Star Wars shows, I will be reviewing all of those as well. So Hit that notification bell. Be notified when new videos go up. I do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the review.